Deuteronomy 144 through 46. And the Amorites who lived on that mountain, this was the mountain they were talking about, go up the hill and fight, but God said he wasn't in the center of it, so they shouldn't go. So they are going up. They're fighting um, against you. And they chased you like bees do. And they destroyed you in Shire up to Horm. So they're chasing them away. This was because God wasn't in the middle of the fight. They were going by their own advantage. They were thinking they could win when God said no. No, you won't. You'll lose. You don't want to go do that. Oftentimes, this is how we act. We want to go battle when God said no. The time's passed. It's kind of like, we're ready now, Lord. The moment's passed. Don't go. But we do it anyway. And end up failing. And you returned and wept in front of the Lord. But the Lord would not listen to your voice or give you ear. Because they completely... First off, they didn't have faith. They had fear. Secondly, they were doing their own thing. They were crying most likely to God about their way not working. We need to repent before we go to God. That way is the best. So that, so you stayed in Kodesh for many days according to the days you stayed. So they were stuck. They were in this place because God wasn't leading them. God wasn't hearing them because they weren't willing to follow. When we follow our own efforts, oftentimes it leads us in a similar place where we're stuck. 